So, hello everybody. Um, I decided to do a little detour from my uh, Let's Play series um, and make something really cool. So, yesterday I started playing around with uh, Enhanced Portals uh, 3. So, I pretty much learned this mod yesterday with the controller and um, um, and the usual redstone thing and um, the networking. But I thought, what would be more cool than to make a working network where you can pretty much go anywhere you please from any portal? So I pr I started messing uh, messing with this dialing device, and I realized what's better than to use computer craft to steer this thing. So I'm gonna show off my creation here. Um, what I realized after I first did this was that this portal takes a ridiculous amount of power uh, from uh, from this thing here. It, it pretty much drained this in like one second. And um, even with the energy cell here pumping 400 R per tick, it, all, it couldn't keep up after a while. So it takes ridiculous, uh, ridiculous amount of power to keep this running. So because of that, um, I I figured this was kind of an end game mod, but then I realized, how long does the portal have to stay open for me to actually get through? And the answer to that is one tick. Ta-da! So let's look at the technical part here. Actually, I just built a computer cr uh, craft program here for this. I call it test. So let's look at that. So this looks a bit, little bit complicated for the ones who don't know Lua. Uh, but but really, it's uh, it's quite a simple program. Uh, what really happens is that up here, uh, this is just for painting uh, the UI. It's uh, a bit messed up at the moment. I I really should make this a lot better, but it, it works. Uh, it's not it's just not very pretty. Um, but anyway, the interesting part is here. Um, I pretty much just check where I click, and then it will dial the the portal here that I um, that I where uh, which represent where I want to go. So pretty much, uh, it just takes the the uh, the numbers from here and print them out here. And the one I click, it will teleport me to. And after that, it will it will open the portal, then sleep for um, one twentieth of a second. That one tick. And then terminate portal instantly. So, a teleportation from one point to, uh, from one portal to another will actually just take ten thousand RF, which is equal to uh, about two thousand five hundred EU if you use the the energy bridge uh, system. So that's really cheap. Um, I will probably try to get this running on my um, on my survival world uh, on the Let's Play world. Um, and uh, that will um, <coughs> I, I will probably be able to do that pretty pretty soon because th this energy consumption is 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 pretty much nothing. So um, let me demonstrate. I'll just right click jungle here. Uh, jungle should be this portal, I think. So I'll just right click here and oh yeah. Never mind. Uh, I need to start the program. There we go. Program started and teleport. And I'm over here. And if I go back here and right click island, I will pop over here. So if I create terminals for dialing the other portals from this one and this one, I pretty much have a system to go anywhere, please, at any time, as long as I have some some power going into this uh, bridge stabilizer. Um, and I don't really need too much power because, as I said, each reputation is really cheap. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. I I can make this uh, this terminal larger, um, so uh, so I can have more uh, place to teleport to. Um, I I made the scale of the text uh, two two times as big as uh, it normally is, just so it would be a bit easier to click. Um, yeah. So that that's pretty much it. I um, 
I'm pretty happy with this, and uh, as I said, I will implement this on my uh, on my server. Um, if anyone is interested in this uh, in this program, um, I w I will uh, I will try to upload it uh, to uh, and p post a link in the description for the video. Um, a wor word of warning, though, um, I, I can demonstrate this. It, it is very badly parsed right now because I didn't really care about. Um, uh, aesthetics. So, um, if we add something with a weird name, like a long name or something, it will not work very well. As you might see here, it's uh, it's a bit, yeah. So um, right now, it's only it's only pretty for um, for five letters, but but I can fix that. It's not very hard to uh, to make it handle this so yeah another thing is that the first identifier here needs to be a dummy that means it's pretty much nothing um, that's because and it's also unclickable uh, from the program point of view um, it's that's because the the computer craft program couldn't call uh, the first object in the list of um, of places to go I have no idea why. Uh, it could have something with like if you send it a zero, which is the first object, um, it uh, it closes the portal or something. I, I have no idea. So uh, it, it refused to work. If anyone have a fix for that, please tell me because yeah, but but it's not a huge problem. I mean, um, uh, it's only this uh, line over here. Uh, also, another thing to note, if anyone is going to use this program, is that if you uh, add more places here, uh, you need to add them here. So, if let's say I add this thing, um, I need to write this. Um, else, if y pass equals 4, then portal dot dial stored 3. And then go on like that. So one, two, three, two, three, four. So um, that's how that works. Uh, if I save this now and exit here and run the program, uh, I can actually right list this one, but it's gonna give a message that says like uh, um, there's no portal linked. What? Uh, did that address? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's not it's not working because there is no portal with a uh, with a slime ball. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I um, hope this uh, helped someone um, because I I think this invention is pretty awesome. Um, and uh, I hope you uh, you watch my uh, my let's play series because there uh, there will be uh, cool stuff like this going on. Anyway, Nox is signing out and preparing for the next episode of Nox's Let's Play Monster. See ya!